uh, hello everyone uh, this is the uh, second part of the uh, concrete compressive test in the previous we used a standard solver to get the uh, response curve and now we want to change the solver from explicit to uh, in, uh, from the standard to explicit and the other thing is that that we want to consider some failure behavior uh, in the column and the third part is we use the previous uh, loading capacity curve to apply load instead of displacement so here is the capacity curve of the previous example which is uh, this one and now we found out this is the ultimate force and corresponding displacement is about 5 millimeter so we use this load instead of displacement and we want to measure the response of the structure uh, again okay i go to back here and the modeling is completed you can check uh, the previous tutorial and uh, see how you can model and then uh, come back to here to see how we will apply the explicit i want to make a copy of this one uh, model 2 and in the model 2 we will just focus on the model 2 the first thing is I want to change the step uh, which is deleted the static step and delete it and I want to create a new step uh, called uh, dynamic so we use explicit dynamic solver but the loading procedure is equal to the previous one so which is quite uh, slowly and now I'm going to back to here dynamic and uh, taking explicit and the explicit instead of uh, 10 I give 5 seconds to here this is 5 uh, even I can give 2.5 seconds so the entire was 10 so this is about 5 so I can give 2.5 seconds so 2.5 so the loading procedure is static which is slowly we apply the load and the other part is we can assume uh, default now in the time history output or field output i want to uh, select some uh, parameters so the first is i want to get the failure so damage and tensile damage compressive damage and also some failed some failed failure from the plasticity behavior and it's okay and uh, output now uh, we want to create uh, some set uh, in the previous one was displacement here and now the acceleration is here we want to measure displacement here and the uh, uh, acceleration in the reaction force or F2 uh, we have go to the set and we have loading point and I'm going to call uh, reaction or REF selecting this point in the previous the same uh, was from the one now we have to create different set and this is called loading which is we want to so each interval of like uh, instead of interval I want to use uh, go to displacement u2 every unit of time so 0 0.1 uh, second and the second one is REF and uh, same step going to set and REF again uh, not a displacement but this time is going to be take the reaction force and using the same interval to measure the displacement and reaction force so we created two even I can go to rename it uh, u2 now we have two uh, time history output so the next thing is we uh, go to the interaction is also completed and load is also going to the load uh, now we create 
the concentrated loot 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 using uh, in a dynamic and selecting that loading point so the amount of loot is minus giving this loot copy and this one so sometimes it requires uh, amplitude is define an amplitude so we have zero 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 and we have insert 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 uh, 0 0.5 1 1.5 uh, 2 2.5 so uh, here uh, going to 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.5 uh, 6 0 0.8 and this is 1 so in the until time is reached 2.5 second so the hundred percent of that load will apply slowly now okay okay amplitude and next uh, we go to define a boundary condition is already giving here and so load is finished we go to mesh in the previous one uh, we used the standard now we have to define the explicit here is the explicit it's called ok and then go to the column and here again I should select explicit and one more thing we want to uh, see uh, the element uh, deletion here is uh, element deletion uh, element deletion we want to activate yes mostly the concrete will delete it because we want to define some shear failure for the concrete not for the steel rebar so that for the rebar is no need and straps again I want to apply explicit now we finished and everything is uh, completed so uh, the last thing is I should define the uh, go to the model 2 and edit keyword now we want to define some uh, concrete failure so the concrete failure is not exist in the uh, uh, user interface but we should define in the uh, in the edit keywords so now I go to here the concrete uh, we use uh, concrete tension, uh, uh, compressive damage, and tension damage. Uh, I come back. I come here. Uh, this is here. Go to exactly the down, and then just here, and write uh, star and called uh, concrete. Uh, failure uh, now uh, here ask us uh, what kind of failure failure should be based uh, and uh, what kind of failure so I should give a uh, type uh, type uh, equal I want to use strain so then giving a down and I want to give the first is this one the last step of concrete compressive damage and just I give a comma and a space and the second one is uh, this one the last uh, data from the uh, tension stiffening or tension damage copy and Next it and then comma again so now we bring in the corresponding the uh, damage parameters for this one 
and again space and bringing this one now we have got four parameters now I say ok and we go to the job in the job we want to create this is the second mode model 2 or model 2 and submit it Uh, so this is the error it asked me here is the uh, one uh, illegal value because the it spelling is wrong so I should fix this one go back to here uh, edit uh, keywords and I should write that one strain and that was that you see here one R should be considered strain submit again Now we can monitor and see So it's starting in first step is 0 point uh, this and it will take some time because uh, we use a large time period uh, uh, After finish we will see in this class Now the analysis is completed and we want to uh, see some uh, results uh, both model 1 model 2 the result and uh, here is the result and nothing is left because uh, we uh, activate the uh, element relation and also we considering failure so the entire structure is uh, failed let's see uh, when it start the step output is very uh, 0 0.1 second so in case if I uh, list and go to and this is the output And just uh, this part is left otherwise I deleted during the uh, failure now I'm going to uh, uh, that's the previous one I'm going to delete this one and create a new output and here is and now uh, we have two curve uh, one curve is <coughs> Uh, one curve is <coughs> and this is uh, already two and this is the displacement of uh, the displacement uh, here is very slow very least and then uh, suddenly it dropped uh, let's uh, see how it works so going to here and uh, operate combine and for the u2 we should uh, minus 1 times minus 1 minus 1 and times u2 uh, otherwise uh, just <coughs> rdf2 is okay now I can call it fed2 and I go to uh, plot both and we can see Uh, it's a little strange. Uh, let me uh, show you the plot one. And here is uh, the procedure is like uh, uh, we applied the loot, and then uh, it reached to the ultimate, and then dropped uh, suddenly. Uh, you can see the displacement is very very large in this point. Uh, if I go to back to here 
um, edit and uh, here in and this is the uh, y is the force and this is the displacement uh, yeah edit x is displacement uh, so in this point it reached uh, zero so we don't want these parts and just this part is uh, our copy and we go to back here to the excel and paste and uh, we can create uh, select and if this called if we d one if d one and we want to uh, get one if d two so this is if d two and here is the uh, y. Now you can see, uh, this is the graph. Uh, when we apply the load uh, to, to maximum this point, the structure uh, totally collapsed and the entire elements because of the uh, shear damage, because of the concrete damage, it uh, destroyed. Now like this, We go to uh, go to option and uh, list uh, okay in the last step just the one step uh, left it will uh, and this is the uh, 2.7 and the last step it will destroy all the structure because immediately uh, most of the element reach that point uh, we should do one more thing to get uh, uh, slowly uh, so we go to that step and uh, uh, change uh, this output to uh, this output to be every uh, 200 let's take a little larger and uh, this one uh, both should be used uh, every interval of 200 and this also 200 If uh, if I rerun, it takes some time, so you can uh, do it by yourself. And I give this uh, model to you. And uh, uh, this was the second part of the uh, reinforcement concrete behavior uh, under the compressive test. And the third part is we want to uh, retrofit this structure. So now we have uh, the capacity is 2,800 kilonewton. We want to improve and using CFRP uh, how this behave so that's the next tutorial and keep tuned and we will see you next time if you have any question please put in a comment and we'll find time to answer you see you next time